Hello everyone, I am Third Mario Brother, and welcome back to the Unleashed Project. Last time we took on Rooftop Run, which was the level ported into Sonic Generations, but this time, we'll be taking on a level that I love even more than Rooftop Run, if only for its environment, if only for its style, which will be... Slightly off to the right. Hold on, Professor Pickle, take us there. Oh, you're the best tour guide ever, man. Dragon Road. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh, I know this entire hub world is amazing looking. But look at that dragon coming out of that swamp right there. Look at those rotating platforms, the eagle or some other bird floating in the or flying in the air. Ah, oh, with that wall in the back and these pagoda-style buildings. It's beautiful, and I cannot wait to start this. And yes, we are playing as Professor Pickle with his pickly-looking nose and everything. So there is absolutely no way that we can fail. Now that I've said that, I'm probably going to die about 14 times on this stage. But let's begin with Dragon Road, starting off with this quick little quick step segment. <laughs> it's quick and quick step. It's like double quick. Oh, man. Good thing there isn't any quicksand because that wouldn't be so quick. That's like the oxymoron of oxymorons, man. <sighs> That's enough complaining. Ah, oh, we can't make it over there, apparently. But that's enough complaining about the English language. Instead, let's just watch this old spry man. Spry like he's in his 40s, because that would be young for Professor Pickle. Dominate this stage. Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. That was, like, completely flawless. Man, for custom stuff like that, I have to emphasize that it is... Well, I've never actually made a mod myself or anything, but I'm sure it's like a ton of work getting custom stuff like that to work perfectly. So being able to like see that work without a hitch and see that it looks so smooth and polished and stuff, it makes you appreciate a mod like this all that much more, you know? But man, the environment in this level in both Sonic Unleashed and this mod, and I guess it's kind of pointless to draw a distinction between the two because this is essentially Sonic Unleashed, uh... This environment is just so cool that, like, the cloudiness down below and the fact that it's so thick, it makes all that feel mysterious, but the rest of this feels so, I don't know, oriental sort of settings like this uh, have always, like, been awesome to me. I've always loved them. I have always loved every bit of it. Oriental architecture in general, I'm kind of a sucker for. Honestly, I would love to go to Japan. Japan? Japan? <laughs> I got Japan, man. <laughs> oh, man. Jamaican Japan. Doesn't that sound like just a boatload of fun? Oh, yeah. But anyway, um, I would love to go to Japan just to, like, explore the place, you know? That is on my bucket list. If there's several areas in the world I want to go, that is definitely my top few. But, um, yeah, here we are, Professor Pickle. If you don't know who he is, well, pfft, you certainly haven't ever played Sonic Unleashed. He's basically the main character of that game. I mean, come on. Without Professor Pickle, Sonic would have gotten nowhere. In fact, I don't know why Professor Pickle didn't just go and defeat Dark Gaia and complete the game himself. He should have been the protagonist. Look at this speed. Look at this power. He's been training for, like, a marathon or something. And this old man is in heck of good shape. Heck of a lot better shape than I'm in right now. Because he is just going. Oh, these dragons, though, that is so cool. That is so cool! I cannot emphasize it enough. Anyway, let's get down to business to defeat Dark Gaia and continue onward. These platforming bits right here provide a nice, like, piece of respite, I suppose. From the horrible, horrible, and by which I mean, uh, extremely rapid and unbeatable speed of the one, the only Professor Pickle. <sighs> Oh, man, this mod is absolutely hilarious, though. It's so... <laughs> Look at him holding onto the rocket there. That's adorable. Oh, my God. <laughs> and his freaking eyebrows, man, and that cutscene that's supposed to be, like, super cool. He looks so serious, and he's... He looks... He could double as James Bond as well. Sonic and James Bond. Professor Pickle is truly the greatest hero in the history of the world. <laughs> But anyway, let's grab onto this rocket and just continue onward. But this mod is so hilarious, seeing Professor Pickle put in all this work and destroy all these robots and make all kinds of speed gains and destroy the world. It's, it's such a hilarious mod, seeing him absolutely just plow through everything. I love it. I love it so much. And now that I play this, um, The Unleashed Project, I'm starting to realize just how frequently those, uh, laser robots are in Sonic Unleashed, evidently. Like I said, not familiar with all the details of the levels, but you learn something new every day. Unless you're Professor Pickle, because in that case, you don't need to learn something new. You already know all you need to know in that is that you are one B.A. guy. <laughs> the only way they could have made this mod better 
as if they had replaced the rings with like little cucumber slices or something like that. That would have been absolutely amazing. But that does it for Dragon Road. Ah, I'm sad it was so short. I, that's the one Sonic level I would tolerate being like 25 minutes long because that was super, super cool and super, super fun. Just kidding, if it was 25 minutes long, I would probably hate it. But anyway, that was Dragon Road, and that was Professor Pickle. I will see you guys next time for Happy Feet 3, apparently. Yeah! Oh my gosh! I finally get to build a snowman, and this time it has to be a snowman, because it doesn't look like there's anything except snow for miles and miles. Anyway... That'll do it for this episode of Sonic Generations. If you enjoyed the video, I would very much appreciate it if you would leave a like down below. It really, really helps out a lot, and I really, really do appreciate when you guys do that. Also, make sure to leave more mod suggestions in the comments down below. Character mods for the Unleashed Project, or level mods in general, or just character mods that you want me to play any level with. That would be absolutely awesome. I'll do my best to get to all of them eventually. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.